Sophia, it is your turn. You would just okay. you would you would just flip to the page that looked to be the beginning of the schematics for this Tesla device. Mm -hmm. pull, you pull out your phone. Oh. It's turned off. You power it on. It will take at least several rounds to, to come on. Got, got it. I will like to hand the book over to Chef though. Sure. Chef, you might want to... The rituals I found. Yeah, Chef, you might want to note that on your sheet. Okay. Graduate student. And that... Um, so that girl most definitely uh, threw herself out of a window. We should probably well, get she didn't really throw herself out. She tried to hang and make a graceful fall into the hedge below. Uh, you know, best laid plans, mice men, etc. <laughs> the graduate student walks up, and as he walks by you, he says, "Thank you." What, what are we doing here? What happened? What is that? What is that thing? And he points. Um, it was malfunctioning, apparently. You answer. It was more aimed at Ava. Oh, sorry. No, it's perfectly fine. You are within earshot of the question, and it's a fair question. It's a fair answer. We're out of combat. You, you can all do whatever, whatever it is that you wish to do. <laughs> Ouch. I'll make sure the book was put up. <laughs> <laughs> Already done, says the uh, the professor, whose name is whose name is Carl, whose name is Carl. He's holding his knee, going, "My leg, my leg," kind of like you were doing up on the third floor, am I? I, I look at Ava, and I go shake my head and go. <laughs> None of that is my fault. <laughs> making making your making your way out of here, you go to the crumpled body of one Sam Record, and this young, his name was. Jonas, or Jonah. Jonah tells you, he looks like he's seen a ghost. He's not moving, but I think he's breathing. And indeed, Stan Record, the guy who uh, had stolen the answer key on the third floor, is stiff as a board, rigid, eyes so wide that you can you know, see the, you know, the veins popping out around the periphery of his... Uh, Eyeballs, mouth slack, but drawn back in a, a horrific, um, almost like a scream was caught in his throat halfway out. Still seems to be breathing. He, he still fogs the mirror, as it were. Has he been Joker gas? Joker gas. Could be. There could be a chemistry student that could make that so. Or it could it could be from the scarecrow as well? Oh no! Wait, he died. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> um, is there? I guess I would try to ask as I was walking towards him, 
Once I saw it, I would just quietly ask him, okay, is, is there anything that can help you? You can make a spirit roll. Ah, oh, Mama Tishu, you have, you have succeeded. This night, you were successful. The ghosts, the spirits, the restless ones, no longer here. The veil, the curtain, is now drawn and shut. Well done, Mama Tishu, well done. This one? Ah, oh, bad juju, I'm afraid. Oh, he looks like he's been... Oh, the subject of a terrible fright. A terrible fright. The boy lives. Perhaps time. Perhaps, perhaps medical care and attention would rule the evening, my petit Yeah, I... Did. I think this kid over here needs some help. Um, it, it, he looks like he's had some thing happen here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say that OSHA standards and the uh, like Americans with Disability Act would probably uh, force or cause or aid this building in having an elevator probably installed just south of where you are, a service elevator. It takes a little time, but the, uh, the Professor Carl figures out how to activate it after hours. And all of you are outside with the body of Stan and with the uh, hobbling Silas. And the graduate students whose eyes are still puffy and red, but nevertheless, the worst of his injuries have been accounted for. And Carl, who is trying to get you to tell him who or what that Tesla coil contraption was. So we'll put you outside on the front steps. I, I don't know. There was some lady here. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody I do something with it. <laughs> a mind drew a heart on her where the woods. That is so worth that is so worth a penny. <laughs> All of you make a notice roll, please. You do hear um the sound of a, a siren. Dice fall. <laughs> Shep, you hear excited but low volume exclamations around the side of the building. Hard to make out. But you heard, you heard, it, look, it sounds like a, um, a young man and a young woman probably talking excitedly in low voices. Are they, do I hear enough of the voices to tell if I recognize? No. Not with a five. A five is a success. Okay. The point of fact, you wouldn't recognize them anyway, so no harm, no foul. Yeah. We, we should go. I'm never coming back to this place after class is gone. You don't have don't a class care. here? The both of you in this building? I <laughs> don't want to. Be, nothing good happens whenever you go back to class and work on a project. <laughs> you will probably have to come here next semester, too. Oh, oh, <laughs> Can you can you help? I hear voices. Can can you come here? Huh? It's a young can man's you voice. Go help those guys out there. No. There is there is 
an adult. I'll be fine. Yes, there, there seem to be having issues. I need to spit. Okay, okay, okay. The graduate student and Carl will walk around the corner of the building. You are all outside at this point, so okay. don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry too much about movement at this point. It's theater of the mind. You come around the corner. There is a um, uh, uh, Carl and uh, Jonah come around the corner. Ava, do you wish to stay with the injured cripple J.J. Jameson, or do you want to follow your friends? Assuming your friends want to go. Mm -hmm. I don't know if an ambulance or like the medical people would have come to try and help her either. There are ambulances on the way. Oh, okay. They're not there yet. Not yet. That will not explain. I'm going to chill with, uh, I guess, with Shep because she. Yeah, I. am so close to these people. I do have a first aid kit, so I could try to do some. First aid on Ava and the professor. Um, you know, by the time you got into that ten minutes, uh, the ambulance might be here, and they are trained professionals. You could make it worse. Okay. Hold still. I'll slip that patella right back where it belongs. Um, ah, ah, ah! The patella ends up around the back of the knee somehow. Well, I mean, just stuff that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I understand. Just, just some basic. Look like I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to to keep whatever use the first aid kit to you know keep it. Put some band-aids on the yeah. body. Yeah. To, yeah. You know, yeah. To help, yeah. But right. not necessarily to fix. Okay. Very good. Very good. You were helping any way that you can. Yeah. Um, because I do have healing as well. Yeah. I I imagine you're trying to make like a splint um, for the for the professor, and the professor's like, no, no, the paramedics are on the way. Quiet. I'm making you a splint. No, really. It's like, <laughs> hold still as you <laughs> cinch the belt tight. Um, around the corner of the building, uh, Sophia and and sh and Sophia, would you like to go with the with the two with the adult male and the the young male, or would you like to stay with the other two? Ava, you're not going to be able to scoot your chair around the outside of this building. It's grass and shrubbery. Understood. Okay. I would prefer to stay with Ava and Shep. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Up the ambulance has come. The gurney halls three individuals away. There is a grievously injured woman, young woman, on the mm -hmm. on the north side of the building. She's got a compound fracture. Her femur is extruding from her leg. Um, there's a possibility arterial damage. Um, she may never walk again if she's lucky. She'll, she's lucky she didn't bleed out. But um, uh, two individuals, two, two young students did affix a makeshift tourniquet to, to staunch the bleeding as best they could, being untrained. And that'll probably make the difference, life or death, of... Did her patella get turned? <laughs> uh, if you can, uh, her patella is probably over there in the bushes. <laughs> Could you please fetch it for me? Oh my god! You have completed uh, the big haunt. You have, um, you are being, you will be treated. They will uh, carefully, Ava. They will pull these slivers of glass out. They will affix a one of those ice packs that you break, and it gets really cold. And they'll affix that to your poor, your poor leg, your leg. Um, okay, didn't she sprain it or something? Yeah, uh, it it no, you know what? It, it was it was the result not of um, injury and combat, but more a critical failure, um, which will uh, hobble you until you get it looked at. You can consider this mm -hmm. to be looked at and get those two points of uh, movement back. They have fix it, and they say, "Yeah, just keep this ice on it. It'll keep the swelling down." And as far as this goes, yeah, we pulled out those those glass slivers. And they'll probably make a report. And... East Texas University um, representatives show up. Their security force shows up. Two individuals. Um, 
it's late and they're going to lock the room down. They're going to lock the building down, make sure that all the lights are out and basically go room to room and make sure everybody's out of here. And they're, they're going to take your names and they're going to try to figure out what happened um, after a clear headed night's rest. Um, it looks like a, a young woman tried to commit suicide and almost succeeded. In fact, she still may have succeeded. Uh, time will tell. It's and yeah. So bad that I don't really feel that bad for her. Yeah. So. Okay. So uh, two days later, and we can always go back and retro anything you want to do. Um, I do want to ask. Mm -hmm. Would Chip understand if there would be repercussions if he yanked the schematics out of that book? You have the whole book. You don't think so. You don't th if you were careful. Okay. You could even photo. You could photocopy him. I know where there's a photocopier in that building. <laughs> No, I'm I'm thinking more. Oh, I don't really want the schematic. I don't want them to fix that damn machine. Okay. Dante said bad juju. I mean, as long as you have the book. I mean, they, they could have made they could have made copies of it, but uh, okay, okay. Um, certainly, you could you could. But if worst case scenario and the, somebody decides they're going to take it, I could. Strategically grab those two pages and yank. Certainly, certainly you could. It'd be a shame though, but yeah, you could. Um, you also pick up um as the paramedics are hauling three gurneys away with three still moaning. Well, one of the figures is moaning. The guy with the hurt leg, uh, Silas, of course. The other two, it is remarked by the paramedics. Have you ever seen that expression on those two before? It's like they saw a ghost. Look how gray and ashy they are. It's like why why would they both look like that? And they ask you, you know, what happened to the to the young man, and you really don't know. You were like, well, the one the one professor was carrying him and kind of dropped him in the hallway, and you know we can't account for the way he looks. He seems to be breathing. But I did want to let you know that both Lily Boatwright and uh, young Stan both had that look of abject horror, of terror, um, as if a blood-curdling scream had, had not, you know, choked them. Eyes wide open, mouth hanging open, slack-jawed, unresponsive, almost as if comatose. Can I roll an occult? <laughs> I just want to see if I think that it has something to do with what we turned loose on the world. Sure. Oh, you can absolutely roll an occult. Absolutely. We turned loose. I don't really know, but I... I well, there were... There were all kinds... There were all kind of ghosts around here. So, I Sure. Know. I'm just, yeah, there were ghosts, and yeah. then there, I'm right. thinking of the one particular thing. All right. You guys get home, and um, like a day later, you wake up, and uh, Erica's uh, having a cup of um, coffee. You know she likes it strong and black, no cream, no sugar. Um, and it, her expression is, well, y'all, it's a good cup of coffee if you got to chew it before you swallow She's um she's drinking it and she uh she's like, all right y'all fess up. Which one of y'all been messing with my horseshoes? Yeah, I had them all had them all mounted on um, plaques and I'm um, hanging on the wall. Somebody took them all and well flipped them upside down, made all the luck pour out. Which one of you clowns did it? Well, some of them, some of them are low. She tells you that she's got a series of them. We'll say uh, eight horseshoes, each mounted on like a little plaque. And 
somebody took them off the wall, flipped them upside down, and hung them back up again. So they were all like upside down letter U's. It's like, don't y'all know that's how the luck runs out? Never hang, never hang a horseshoe upside down like that. I know. I would never, I would never truck mess with luck. Um, but this kind of sounds like what happened. Uh, Y'all suck, you know that? Did you make Remember the honey mad? Well, not intentionally. Although I think I, I think I pissed off your boyfriend next door, Sophie. I, I, I do not have a boyfriend. Did you try to steal her boyfriend? Me? I, I, do, I do not have a boyfriend. <laughs> he's, he's a nice looking he's a nice looking young fella and all that. I mean, I never really actually met him. I mean, we howdy, but we ain't actually shook. Okay, as long as you haven't actually shook, then maybe you didn't steal him. Well, he's all, he actually, he looked all crestfallen and only gave me like a little, a little timid half wave and a smile last time I saw him. Usually he's pretty happy, like, like that time he was spraying all them blood and guts from that guy that blew his brains out um, off the sidewalk with his hose. He was downright chatty back then, but he's all, yep. he's all crestfallen. Looks like this world kind of collapsed around him. I felt kind of bad for him, but I had shit to do. Um, I didn't really have to hang around and talk to him. Hey, do y'all know there's a uh, y'all know there's a Renaissance fair going to be held over at uh over that that Vanderhoeven's guy's house, that farm. You know, you know that farm, Vanderhoeven, Vanderhausen, Van Heusen, yeah. Van Heusen. I don't know what the hell his name is, but um, yeah, y- y'all y'all going to go like into town and maybe like go to the thrift store and try to pick up yourselves some uh. Some uh, costumes or something, or maybe you have them, Ava. I'd imagine you already have your cosplay stuff. But uh... I would love to. I would be a great knight in shining. Well, maybe not. They don't make armor my size, mm. but you know we gotta make it work somehow. She's looking down at. Love to go to a Ren fair. She looks down at her chaps and she says, "Well, chaps count as leather armor, right? I think I could pass." <laughs> She goes, oh yeah, that at um at Van Heusen, Vanderhausen, Vanderhosen, Lederhosen guy lives outside of town. He's um it, it's going to be sponsored by the uh, uh charity uh ASPCA, the Animal Prevention Cruelty folks. Yeah, they're going to have um a bunch of uh homeless like dogs brought up, maybe some cats, I don't know, um brought up from uh, Lufkin. And uh, I guess it's going to be like, a, you know, it's a fundraiser. It's going to be for adoption for the animals. We're going to have a live band. They're going to have like all kinds of like, like Ren Fair stuff, like throwing axes and, and spears, shit like that. And uh, I think there's going to be a, a dance at the end. It's going to be right fun. Is there going to be real turkey legs or toe turkey legs? <laughs> well, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine uh, all the meat down here would be real. Well, you know, you did mention the ASPCA. Oh man, yeah. I hope. Sponsoring. Uh, yeah, I hope they don't fry up them dogs, but don't get uh, adopted. I hope they don't fry them up. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I have the perfect dress for the occasion. All right. Shep, you, you're the one that done mess with my horseshoes, aren't you? Come on, fess up. No. I told you, I do not mess with luck. Hmm. <laughs> Have you asked me in the mirror? I Are did. You in the mirror in a, in a prank war? Because, you know, he has been watching. No. Well, well, yeah, we kind of we kind of is, but, well, he's on my side, if you understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the two NPCs against the three PCs. <laughs> what you, what you, what what you do to that that nice boy next door, Sophie? I didn't do anything. Did you ever respond to the prescription letter she sent you with the mail? We were busy. We had work, so I never, I never called. Jerry back? How are you saying why are you playing with his emotions? I am not playing with anyone's emotions. I don't remember his name. Oh, that's even worse. You don't remember his name? 
I always you, told you to just him, like, a handful of times. <laughs> I, I think that it should be made clear to him that, that you should probably tell him directly instead of, you know, not uh, or avoiding him like I do all the time. Yeah, are you going to make man, man, he wrote you. He wrote y'all a love letter and put it in your backpack and, and carefully, carefully brought your missing, your missing uh, devices and and property to you. And and you didn't ever respond to him. Girl, girlfriend, that's something I do. I do. I sometimes I lose track of things and I forget. And oh, wait, the movie tickets did they expire? Chef's just, just looking at between Ava, or not Ava, but the other two, Sophia and Erica, and it's just like, this is why I never take it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you open up, and um, well, the tickets haven't expired yet. They're for a grand reopening of a an old-style, like, 20s uh, uh, film um, theater downtown that someone came in and bought and invested to have a, a new facade put up but still keep some of the old like 1920s movie theater feel lots of brass fixtures and red velvet settings and the cordons and and that old that old feel you know rather than throwing the old chairs away they reupholster them give them some new life instead of uh throwing them away and putting in uh you know some some comfortable new chairs that just don't have the history that the old, you know, the old MGM theaters might have. That's adorable. Oh. Looks like the movies, uh, the, the movies might happen, um, like the week after final exams would be the grand reopening, say the second week of December. Still, s still a little ways away. Oh, no, 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 no. The Renaissance is fair. It is rather imminent the next two or three days. Oh, that's so soon. Ava, you seem, you seem to have your costume already. Shep and, Shep, Shep and Sophia, what would you like to do for your costume? Uh, my costume, I imagine Sophia would want something like, I guess, a more colorful replica of a, a historic painting. Okay. Just a pretty... Yeah, okay, let me look some stuff up. Let me find some stuff. I mean, tell me, tell me how you would go about acquiring such. This is quite before going on the internet to costumes.com or Amazon and, and looking these up. Well, I, there's no... There's really... There's no so wrong answer. We have some references. And take, take those references to probably a fabric store and art herself the costume. Sure. Sure. I mean, I mean three, three days. That's not a lot of time. I'm sure I can find a glue gun if I Absolutely. don't have time to sell. Absolutely. Now, would you like, like a princess costume with a tall conical hat and a veil flowing from it and maybe an off the shoulder shift a long you know gown kind of puffy at the bottom um or would you like to be i don't know like a like a rogue with you know like patent leather armor you know red armor kind of dressed like a dampier maybe um with a with a with a with a with a faux a faux foil like a faux rapier there's there are no wrong answers and, you know, when you're shopping, you may see something that completely takes your, uh, you know, attention. But just kind of think of where you want to go with this. Chef, how about you? Oh, there we go. Renaissance. Chef. Well, since Chef has done cosplay. Canonically, we've all done cosplay here. Yep. Although we had to drag three of you. <laughs> um, he would go to his parents and search through because they're old theater people because they had done movie stuff 
before they moved back to Pine Box uh, when they got pregnant. Mm -hmm. So he would go and find a top hat and some and tried to figure some way of doing like a fancy suit to kind of go along with like the princess theme. Hmm. You don't think a top hat would exactly be the right genre? Certainly, like certainly, like a wide, a wide, like beanie, a French beret at a rankish angle, may be like that. The classic Henry the Henry the Eighth kind of you know costume with a, a, a pirate shirt, perhaps, and a and a floppy hat, perhaps one of those hats that sort of bends at the point, bends over a little bit, kind of like a sleeping cap, but without the I little jingly bell. Not, not fitting in. Okay. He's he's uh, looking for like. The, the old like eighteen hundreds. Okay. To okay. Eighteen hundreds. Super. Know, the fancy gentleman. Super. Okay. Um, you're all uh, hmm, hmm. Let's see. You're on a um. If you're going into town, would you prefer to take the uh, two on the bike, one on the moped? Is this too much? How much of that is dress and how much of that is blanket? Oh my God, the whole thing is the dress. Hmm. It is. It's massive. This is not oh. practical in any way. Oh, you know, um, we will let the we will let the dice decide. As this is Savage Worlds, Fast and Furious, and fun, and it's more fun just like random chance. Uh, Well, they make stilts. They make stilts. Okay. So if you guys were riding into town, would you be uh, two on the bike, one on the moped, the Vespa? Or would you borrow Erica's truck, maybe? Would you borrow Mir's sleek sports car? Which I imagine is a two-seater with a, a very small back seat. Where maybe an Ava could, would, could tuck herself back. Because she's quite quite small and again there's no right there's no wrong answer uh i'm just curious how you're gonna go into town um i do like, like taking my bike. bike okay well you're gonna go you gonna go on that bike in that massive oh no 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 <laughs> you might you might buy all the material and stuff like that in town and have to balance you know, carrying it while you're driving with one hand, which, you know, one hand on the handlebars would be unsafe, but. Oh, we would have to get uh, Erica's truck, probably. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all hop in, I'll drive. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> I got to go in there, too. Um, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to get dressed up as, but I figure I'll wear as little clothing as possible, and that'll get me in. Maybe, maybe like I can find a chainmail bikini top. That'd usually go. That'd go over pretty. That'd go over pretty good. And and it's like um. You go there. You go there for free. Uh, there's there's no charge to get in. But if you're not in costume, there's like a fifteen dollar uh, contribution to the ASPCA fundraiser um, that'll get you in. And. Um, so you're in Erica's truck. As you are driving down the street, it, 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 it is shocking to you that you see an almost naked college student um, running down the street trying to flag you down. He's wearing his, ti he's wearing his tidy whities So he's got underwear on. He's got underwear on and tennis shoes. But it looks like something is painted in black on his chest. And he looks like he's trying to hide behind some trash cans. But as the truck comes down, um, he, he, he's kind of stepping out and trying to flag you down. Well, ain't that cute, says Erica. One of your boyfriends, Erica? I don't know. I don't know. Should I try to hit him? Uh, 
video gagging terminology, Ava, 10 points. <laughs> Yeah. Here's this. Here's this game called Grand Theft Auto that I ain't never played because it doesn't exist yet. But. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto One, I think, came out in ninety. I don't know, ninety eight, ninety, ninety. I think it came out in right the around that time. Not my boyfriend, Shep. He looks like one of your people. One of your people. Y'all. My people. You know, gangly, pale, spent too much time inside playing games and whatnot. Probably, probably never been anywhere near anything even spelled close to G Y M, if you know what I mean. New, newly armed self, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Should I hit him? Don't hit him. Don't do it. She's Just... sweet. Why is he? Oh gosh, he's not wearing any pants. Did you steal his pants, Erica? Is that why? I. I ain't got no idea who that fella is. Well, we're not that far from um from that there uh, Greek row. Maybe it's like a fraternity. Maybe he's hazing. Of course, it's kind of late in the semester to be hazing. Yeah, sure you can. Um, at 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 at, at winter at winter on that side's a little bit uh it's a little bit persnickety. So um, kind of like crack it down. And then put your fingers through the crack and hold the glass so it don't drop into the so it don't drop into the into the um uh, the frame of the door, okay? Um, can you help me? Can, please, can you help me? Uh, what's going on here? He's standing there with his uh his his uh both hands sort of crossed in front of his pelvis, kind of like the the penalty kick in soccer pose. Yeah. I know, I know, I know that I know this looks kind of crazy, but I could really use your help. I think somebody's going to like call the police on me. I might get arrested for um well, yes. running around uh, like this. Yeah, kind of. Can I hop in? Can I hop in? No. You got room? I can hop, I can hop in the back where that little girl is. <laughs> no. Please can't you help me? Do you, can you can you at least give me give me a lift? Don't you can't come, you guys are you guys are from the college too? My name's Frederick. Frederick Doyle. I'm a I'm a student as well. You you wouldn't leave a fellow student out here. Where are you trying to go? <laughs> Anywhere but here. Them uh Delta Delta Eta Kappa guys took my clothes, put them up on a tree, and they did this to me. And you see, now that you see his bare chest, you tip your head to the side, and it spells nerd, N-E-R-D, in black spray paint. And indeed, someone has paint, spray painted a yellow stripe down his back. Please, you can't leave me out here like this. This is so embarrassing. Oh, that's, that's very bad. I'm so sorry for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's scrambling to the other side. He's trying to like try to find any element of commonality that he can with you. I'm a I'm a business major. Um young fella, I see you I see you in the in the business department taking classes. Are you in business? No. Never been to the business area. You wouldn't happen to have an extra an extra pair of pants back here. Lady in the in the truck that I could like just borrow. She usually just wears chaps. Yeah. She's like, she's like, well, you you look like you're my size, but I'm going to open the door and use my foot to kick it open because mm -hmm. while Ava does hypnotize, she also freaks out. There's a man in his underwear outside of their vehicle. Sure, Ava. Ava, there, jump, jump, jump there in the back, and uh, y'all, y'all skinch over a little bit, and um, and give Frederick here uh, a little space. Better hop in. I think I saw a cop 
coming down the street and do a U-turn. He's coming our way. Okay, I'm gonna say and, he's my way over. Y'all look back. There's no cop car coming. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna squeeze my way over and let poor Frederick into the vehicle. Try to be as far away. Yeah, yeah. He's he's in the he's in Erica's dry, uh, passenger seat up front, up against the window. Uh, sitting in his underwear. And you are behind Erica on the driver's side, behind her in one of those little fold-out seats that, that when you're sitting in one of them, you're facing the middle of the back of the truck. Um, they, so you, someone else on the opposing side would be facing you. And she's like, she like, hop in. Hop in there, Fred. Let's see if we can't find out what's been going on here. I think there's a story you've been wanting to tell. She side eyes him. Who's next to him? Shep, would you be a gentleman and interpose yourself between Sophia and the naked man? Almost. Please, please. <laughs> please, please do. That tells me Shep wouldn't have any choice in this. Hey there, uh, 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 Ava. Like, I'm reaching that, reaching that, that zipper bag back here at Duffel. See if there ain't like a towel or something you can give this boy. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks like she's got some stuff that she's uh, been taking on the rodeo circuit. There's probably an old Mexican blanket with a, a hole cut through it so you could wear it as a poncho. Wonderful. He put... He tries to wrap it around himself, and that leaves portions of him exposed in a way he'd rather not be exposed. So he puts it over his head like a poncho, and it comes down, and it barely reaches, barely reaches the bottom hem of his underwear. But it's passable. That, 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 thank you. Thank you. Listen, um, do you guys have like a ladder, like a long ladder, um, like a 14-footer, like, you know, aluminum ladder, like an extension ladder? I kind of like my clothes back. Those, those Delta Eta Kappa guys hung my clothes up from a tree out in the front of their frat house. And then they did this to me. And he points at his front. And then they did this to me. And then he points at the paint on his back. And they thought it was a lot of fun. No, that, that's not a lot of fun. Nope. Not at all. You see, you... you, you <laughs> I think you know, he says to you, Ava. You seem like you know it's. You see, he sees he's agreeing with you. Yeah, it's not fun. And he's saying you seem to know that it isn't fun, as if you've had some embarrassing escapades. Oh, very many. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's still got like a, she's coning her face. <laughs> well, darling, we're going into town. See if we can't uh, get a lead on a couple of uh, outfits for that there. Ren Fair. Maybe we could pick you up a pair of leotards or something. We are going to the thrift store. Uh, you, you are in dire need of pants. <laughs> well, I, I really kind of like my own pants back, but uh, they're a little bit out of reach. Do you have a ladder, like an extension ladder or like an aluminum ladder? They're up high on this on this tree branch. The um. A ladder? Nah. Nothing like that. Why not your lasso, Erica? I mean that's good up to that's that's good up to eight feet. I don't know about no fourteen footers. Probably be damned hard to do. I don't know. I don't know. And um and he's like and, and while he's talking to you he's interspersing with to Erica. All right, turn right here. All right, second left. And you guys sort of creep up and stop across the street and two houses down from this Delta Eta Kappa house. And sure enough, there's a, a tall oak tree. In, uh, like almost right on the on the property line between two frat houses. And sure enough, blowing in the in the in the still in you know, the slight breeze. Looks like there's a, a set of clothing hanging up off this uh horizontal bow. Looks like it might have had a swing attached to it at one point. There's a couple of pieces of rope that broken and rotted, but there's also some clothes up there.
Looks like somebody put him on a somebody put him on a wire coat hanger and hung him from like a loop of rope. You hear like laughter and stuff coming from the house. And people coming in and out. Doesn't look like there's a party, but just some just generic activities. Um, then you hear like yeah, you hear something like go 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 yeah. Do we happen to have a kid that speaks all this? <laughs> I, I'm just wondering if that, that's, the, that's worth a Benny. Do we, do we want to do that? That's worth a Benny. Yes, you do. I was just about to say, I'd, I'd try to climb up and get the clothes myself, but without pants on, I'm afraid the bark would like carve my thighs up. Um, they're, they're very, you know, I've got, I'm very fair skinned. I'm very sensitive. I'm glad that Sophia no longer seems to be scared of trees. <laughs> I, I, I wrote this adventure back when she was afraid of trees. I was. Uh, <laughs> I ruined it. I'm sorry. You did not ruin it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We can do even more shenanigans. I volunteer Ada if she wants to climb up because she desperately wants this underwear boy out of the car. Yeah, Ava, if you get out, this, this is the fraternity row. Exactly. There are boys everywhere. The faster I can go and get these clothes, the faster that one boy in the closest proximity can Also, if we want to be terrible people, we can just push kick, kick him out of the car and just drive and go. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? You've been so helpful. What? No, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> I, 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 no. I know what you're thinking. What? No, I'm, no. Really a, I'm really a nice guy. He's like, he's, he's like, your name's, your name's Ava, right? Do you play Dungeons and Dragons? Do you game? Oh. Well, great, me too. Look at him trying to humanize himself. Chef is certainly, is suddenly starting to agree with Sophia's thoughts. I am going to. Do I need the Benny, or can I use Scavenger to find this, or is this too? Um, I give it to you for free. That's something that's so small. Those kittens' teeth. You probably have them like in an old, empty, like a pharmaceutical, like a little file, like a little um, container with the uh, childproof cap that would hold, mm -hmm. you know, a dozen or sixteen small pills. Like, yeah, you've got them. <laughs> Oh interesting, interesting, Ava. You turn your Tamagotchi on, and it goes through its like boot up process. And the cat, that little Tamagotchi cat, is looking at you and going, "It is rubbing its, it is rubbing itself against um, the stylized leg, like up to the knee, um, like a human leg with it with a tennis shoe on it, and it is rubbing lovingly up against the leg." And little hearts are coming out, and it's going, brrr, brrr. and whatever the top, whatever the Tamagotchi uses to display the number of hours that you've played, or the health status bar of the cat, all of those things look unchanged from your excursion into the Robert E. Lee Engineering um, Applied Sciences Building. I thought we had stopped to get a child's toy at like for a Benny. For a Benny. For a Benny, it's right there. It's a little troll doll. It's a little troll doll that some small child gave a haircut and cut all the hair off, and it probably ended up in the bargain bin in a uh, in a yard sale or some such. With a Benny spent, you have um, you have 
two troll dolls. The other one has all its hair, but a child took a magic marker and tried to draw tattoos all over it. It looks like a barbarian troll. <laughs> You 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 can climb a tree with no limbs? There are no low limbs. This would not be an easy climb, ordinarily speaking, right? He doesn't know what you're planning to do, so The PowerPoint cost for Wallwalker is two. Divided in half is one, which means you will take ten minutes to set up this ritual. I would permit you to do it from within the confines of the vehicle. Well, let me. Well, yeah, especially since I do have ritualism. <laughs> Then one of you can support the other in your endeavoring to take uh, five successes. Because what I'm thinking of doing, just to try not to get it out, <laughs> that there is magic about. Um, I like, what's the guy's name again, Frederick? Frederick Doyle. Uh, yeah, Frederick. And if one of you calls him Fred, he'll be like, um, I prefer Frederick. Do we Dungeons and Dragons? I mean, we do. We even do the live role play Dungeons and Dragons. And I really? Me too! I start doing the, incanta the, the uh, incantation stuff okay. for the ritual. That's so good. Outstanding. That's amazing. Sounds real. <gasps> what? I mean. Wait till I tell you what, what happened to me and your casting. And you prepare for 10 minutes, which is cleansing the aura, cleansing your mind, clearing your mind. Um, you probably take Ava as she is the recipient. You probably take her open hands in yours and you sort of hold and gently massage her palms. It feels kind of nice, Ava. Um, he's preparing you for, for your climbing. <laughs> Part of the preparation is you removing your shoes and socks. And it's a good thing she was not there whenever I said what I said to that grad student. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, let's um let's see some roles. Ava, would you like to support with a cult? Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's too nervous. Can okay. I provide moral support? Okay. Moral support. <laughs> Show it up. Well, I don't have the cult, so it's the best I can do. The LARPing uh, assistant? A seven. A seven is a success. A seven is not a success with a raise. You feel like you're going to have to offset um, Ava's... Uh, Okay. Failed, failed attempt um, to uh, to help. You kid step when the sock was being taken down, weren't? Didn't you? She has long socks. Okay, she's got thigh highs. So she... <laughs> and Converse. Erica tries. Erica tries with a notice roll and succeeds. She gets out of the truck and says. I got this. Looks like there's some people walking down. They're going to be walking by the truck. Um, maybe on the other side of the road. She's like, I got this. I'll go try to tell them I'm selling something. Make them go on the way. That always works. A plus one 
from Erica, a plus one from Sophia, a minus two from Ava, who has uh, floundered and flubbered so straight up um, a cold. I see a, I see a six. That is a seven. Would you, um, would you like to roll again? With a raise, you could, you know, knock out two of your needed successes, or you can just go with it as it stands, and we'll go to the next round. It is your choice. I, I, I will. I'm going to hold my denny's until. <laughs> Outstanding. Say again. Yes, I will. I just remembered that. I just. <laughs> I mean, not that it would change anything because I did a critical huh. failure, but. <laughs> yeah. Just for the future. Yeah. As I kind of did, did ad, I did, as I did just sort of advance time, just to keep things moving around, I'm going to remove both of those conditions oh. because I'm the dean and I can do that. And I could do that because you had EMTs helping with that, uh, uh, yeah. those those glass slivers. She probably has bandages on her side. One success in one round. Next round, who would like to help, if any? Uh, I'd, I'd just like to remind Skep that um, he's, he's done this before. He can do it again. It's fine. Everything will be fine. Okay. Provides a Benny. That's that's always nice. Yeah. A success from Erica. She persuades uh, the people to go and quickly turn and walk the other way. Y'all want to buy some life insurance? I get you. Get you. I get you. I get you good rate. Oh no, thank you. Um, wait, we've got that thing that yeah, we got that thing that we should be doing back right back there. And you turn around and walk away. Um, Erica is giving you a plus one, Chef. Anyone else helping? Can I try and sway, sway up the LARPing aspect so it doesn't seem suspicious to Frederick? Sure. Is that a performance role? Uh, I think so. Oh, she doesn't have performance. Okay. <laughs> undrained, undrained at minus two. Persuasion? Persuasion? I, no. Performance persuasion? Yeah. There's periwinkle dice. Uh, roll up with a one. I want to do that again. The girl's got Benny's all day. Oh, I see a success. Um, so why is it untrained? Did you try performance, persuasion? What was that role? Well, all, all I see is unskilled. I don't have performance, but I do have persuasion. Is that under the same thing? At what die do you have it? It's a, it's a D4, but it's not at a negative. Yeah, roll that instead, please. I should have given you that Shep Shepis rolls up Shepis rolls up minus two. She's providing Ava's Ava's providing just too much information. She's TMI about some of the stuff that you guys have fought. And it's making uh, young young Frederick raise an eyebrow and it looks like he's about to bolt. <laughs> I think I'll take my chance with the uh, the frat guys. Shep, it's a roll at minus one. Erica gave you a Erica gave you a plus one. Ava subtracting two. But boy, that to it totally tracks with your feel of boys, though. There's one in close, close proximity. I will go ahead and send a Benny for that one. Okay. This is the second round. There's one success showing. If I have to, I will give you all of my Benny. An 11, okay. an 8, success. Um, that would have been a minus 1, so it would have been a 10, which yeah. is a success with a raise. That's three successes in two rounds. Well done. Next round could be, uh, could be the, money, the money. Could be the money. Next round. Um, what would you like to do to help, if anything, 
Sophia, Ava. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm thinking of how to help. Um, or I could continue providing, uh, just, you know, yeah. you go, boy, you got this kind of encouragement. Ava produces a, uh, a handkerchief, and she dampens it with a, some of her bottled water that she has with her. And she reaches in across Frederick and sort of, you know, just dabs your forehead where you're starting to get a sheen from sweating, Shep. And as she's like, darling, never let him see you sweat. And she gives you a plus one with her healing roll. Uh, Erica over here with her charisma saving us all. All her dice are fours, but she's rolling pretty well. I will try and assist in um, comparing how cool this LARPing spellcraft session is and compare it with how cool my like science stuff is and have a nerdy chat with Frederick. So okay. He's not freaking out. Okay. So on a fail on a failure, he's gonna notice the the, the, the fresh pink scars on your arms and he's gonna think that you've been cutting yourself. Oh no. Please. That's not a failure. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, that was so good because it, I literally only saw a one on my screen. I was like, "Oh no!" That's a success with uh, two raises. That is going to be um, a plus three, along with Erica's plus one. It's still going to be a plus three. That's the most that you can benefit from others helping. So you are at uh, maximum efficiency. If okay. you would like to let the, let the dice hit the hit the tray, he's seven plus three. That's a seven. That's a success, almost with a raise. One more, and you've got this. Would you like to expend one of those precious resources to reroll? Should we should we spend a business? Sophia, Sophia's got bennies all day. I've, I've got, got Betty's for days. If you spend a Betty, you'll get another. <sighs> that was very nice the way, very nice the way you dropped that Benny onto his sheet, Teamwork. and it, and it let you do that with that Teamwork. that nice edge. A. Oh, oh, that's oh, three. oh that's it's, a ten. It's, that's a success with a raise. Yeah, it doesn't it, do the money. <laughs> Ava, Ava, there appears to be like, like sap extruding from the pores and, and your the, um the sort of the ridges of your uh, fingerprints, like your 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 palms, your toes, and it smells a little it smells a little like pine tar. Of course, Erica's truck has a particular odor of like motor oil and burnt rubber and stuff like that. So. But yeah, you feel you feel sticky and tacky, and the kitten's tooth vanishes, as does the troll doll with no hair. And I uh, turn around over to Frederick and go, "Oh yeah, and that's just how we do it uh, in our group. You know, other groups may use Spanish or." Uh, I've even heard of a couple of guys that are transfer students from Czechoslovakia. Was that was that a magic? Was that was that a sleight of hand? How'd you make that toy disappear? That was pretty good. Are you going to go be an entertainer at the at the Ren Fair? Maybe I haven't I, thought of that far ahead, but yeah, there no, might the magician be, never never reveals might, how they do that. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe get you like a jester outfit. That'd be so cool. Okay, how do you, how would you like to get out of the truck? You can either exit out of Erica's back. The truck has a back window. It's like these two windows that slide apart. 
laterally and you could shimmy out there. You could try to climb over the over the seat and climb over poor Frederick. Or you could flip Erica's unoccupied driver's seat forward and exit the driver's side. Okay. You shimmy out the back window. For someone that's small with a minus one size, it's easily done. Spider-Man might be up there. You can keep the clothes. Get an eye out for the weird sorority boys thing. They're called they call frat boys, darling. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah. Ava, Ava, when you when, tell them girls. Yeah. When you when 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 y'all climb up. Climb up over here so they can't see you from the house. Climb over on this side. Then you don't have to go out into the limb until you're already up into the up into the leaves and stuff. She does not want any other boy's attention. She's going to go on over to the closest tree to the line and Okay. Like, gonna roll up the long sleeves of her, the jacket. Okay, that would be really hard because your hands are going to stick to your jacket. Oh, no. <laughs> Even as you're walking, you're picking up little twigs and, and, and leaves and pieces of debris on the bottom of your feet. <laughs> you climb up the tree at about half speed, which is plenty fast enough. Would you like to make it look as if you're just acrobatically walking up this tree? Or would you like to make it look like you're putting a little effort into it to climb? Um, can I still do the thing where it kind of looks like she's going to go get a running start? Like, you know how people kind of run up a couple steps to wall and then grab onto something? Sure. I'll try and do some parkour-looking stuff. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. You take a running start, perhaps a half dozen stilted steps, being careful not to trip on the curb or the crack in the sidewalk where the one of the sidewalks is a little, one of the sidewalk squares is a little bit taller, a little bit higher because the oak tree root has gotten underneath of it and raised it a little bit. But you, um, just in a matter of seconds, are perched up, I would say precariously, but that's not so. You are firmly holding on to the, uh, the horizontal bow from which hangs a metal coat hanger with a suit of boys' clothes. She's just showing off now all the circus skills that she's, she's been taking to, to I mean, be Squirrel Girl at the next cosplay. Well, if you're, if you're a magician, she's got to be an acrobat. Yeah, did you see? Did you see that she went up? She was it looked like she wasn't really even touching the bark. She cosplayed Squirrel Girl, so she's taking circus lessons. He he he. So there's a long branch, or there's a branch that's towards this line. It, the um, you circle around the the uh, circumference of the tree. You are now. On the, on the horizontal limb that grows towards the frat house. But you're up in the, in the boughs of the tree. You're up um, hidden by the leafy branches. Just um, probably two steps away, uh, hooked into a loop of a coil of rope that has been coiled a couple times around this tree limb and then is hanging and broken um, and rotted, dry rotted, is this piece of string. But the, the, ha- the hanger's right there. Okay, it's st- sure. You're holding it between your thumb and forefinger. There's a set of jeans and a t-shirt. We'll say the t-shirt. The t-shirt has a uh, a D20 on it, and the D20 is showing a one, and it probably has like a curse word on it, like the F word. Well, he or yeah. yeah. She's got it. She's got it. She's amazing, he says. Do you want to climb down with them? Do you want to drop the hanger to the ground 
and climb down? There's no wrong answer. You go <laughs> the door's open. Two people, two frat brothers walk out. Um, they don't see you, but they see the... Uh, did you drop that coat hanger, or is it still in your hand with the clothes? Oh, I dropped the whole thing. Okay. They're like, hey, the clothes. They must have blown down. Let's go get the ladder. And they go around. they go around the side of the house. Looks like they're going. Looks like there's a ladder, probably, that belongs to the, the 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 frat house next door, because they're sort of crossing their dividing line into the other yard, kind of towards their backyard. No, no, no. They came out the front door, saw the clothes in a pile, and immediately turned hard left along the front windows of their house to go to the house next door, to their backyard. No problem. No problem. That was amazing. How did you do that? I told you she's been taking circus lessons. He sni he sniffs you, Ava. Did you did you did you did you use that baseball stuff to make the they used to make the bats sticky? It helped it a lot with grip. I didn't even you guys are amazing. And and he starts to shimmy. He probably puts his pants on first. Yeah. Kicks his shoes off, puts his pants on first. Takes the poncho off, passes it back to you, Ava. You just shake your head and you let it fall um, to, to the bed of uh, the back of the truck. Not in the far back, but in that little enclosure where you're sitting. You're afraid that, that poncho is going to stick to you and you're not going to be able to get it off. And he puts his T-shirt on, you know. And he's like, Listen, um, this is going to sound really weird, but, well, first, thanks. I, I don't know what, I, I could have never gotten back there and grabbed that ladder. It's probably a two-man lift to get it. And Eric is already slowly pulling away as you see two guys carrying a ladder come from the backyard next door. She pulls away just kind of real discreet, real discreet lack. And she's, he's like, um, listen. You're, oh, you're already in the car. You're already in the, in the back. You're in the back. You're, you're already in the back. He's like, listen, I was um, I was playing D and D with uh, with with a new with a new dungeon master, um, a guy a guy I met, and uh, he's like, well, we we're we we're playing, and I was playing I was playing a new character, and I, I rolled up a, a guy. I called him Kevin the Barbarian, and and we were playing, and this new DM. He like lit some candles and did some stuff, and you know he had like one of those Adam Myers misers going, and had had like a scent in the air, and um, he was like uh, playing. Um, we were in this dungeon, right? And I didn't get along with this other guy that was playing this stuck up elf, um, uh, um, and and we we got into a fight and an argument, and he left in a huff because um, he didn't want to like use his healing potion to help heal like the cleric was wounded or something. And uh, um, I swear that Kevin, the Kevin, the barbarian, when I was walking home, Kevin, the barbarian was following me just as, um, as solid. And he, he like claps his hands just as solid as like flesh on flesh. And he was dressed just the way that, uh, just the way I was playing them, but he didn't have his big old ax on him, but he had his like tight leather pants and his breeches and his, his, uh, his furry boots and his furry, his furry, um, uh, like wrap his his, his his wolf skin wrap with the wolf's head and I tried to talk to him and he couldn't talk to me back he was talking in some strange other language and I, I guess he was talking barbarian because that's what I had on his character sheet and and I I, um, I tried to get him to go back to the uh, to, to the um, guys uh, that was running the game to try to sort this out I think maybe he was trying to play a joke on me and the guy like pushed me and and lit off running, and he, he's back in that fraternity house right now. I went back there to try to find him, and he was back there like lifting weights with those 
those those frat assholes and drinking beer with them. And he had he had his own um had on his character sheet one of those big mugs, those big steins, um like a like a like a or a, um like a big horn, and he was drinking out of it. And they were going, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. And then he reached over and he grabbed me and they, well, they almost stripped me naked and they painted me. And he was laughing at me and they, they said I'd better run or they were going to um, take my underwear. And I, I think they were telling the truth. So, And then I ran down and found you. Do you still have this character sheet on you? Yeah. Well, he's like, where is it? Where is it? And he's like, no, it's, oh, I left my backpack back at, back at Kenneth's house, back at Ken Manning's house, the, the dungeon master. I mean, he looks just like, he looks just like my character sketch. I, I would say you need to get your stuff. If the dungeon master is in on this with the frat boys, which it sounds like, it, that's not the de- that's not the group for you. But I would take the uh, character sheet of him and just rip it in shreds. Just get rid of Kevin. All right. He's finding a new group. Mm-hmm. Is there a game shop in town? Yeah, there's a um. There's comic. There's a comic book shop that hosts uh, occasionally. They have like a some regular D and D groups that meet um, on, using some folding tables. And occasionally, there's one or two uh, cons a year. Yeah. I mean, do you do you want us to go back with you to pick up your backpack? That'd be great. I mean, you don't have to, but yeah, can you? Let's go ahead and help him since we've done this much already. All right. Well, he's wearing pants. And I appreciate. This is easier. This is this is so much better. Oh, it's gone by now. I think it's uh, five rounds. We double it because it's East Texas yeah. University. It lasts for 10 rounds or about a minute. About a minute. About a minute. Okay. Yeah, it was. Okay. When you get to uh, Kev- Kenneth Manning's house, he's leaving um, with his girlfriend, Jody, um, spelled with an I. And he's like, oh, you're back. Uh, cool, I guess, dude. Um, you left a backpack. Uh, let me go in the house and get it for you. It's right. I left it right on the inside of the door here. In case you showed up, one of my roommates could hand it to you. And he hands him you know, a rugged denim backpack. He's like, man, I'm... I'm sorry uh, that you didn't get on with Marcus. That kind of sucks. Um, I was hoping you guys could hit it off. It's hard to it's hard to play with like two guys that don't get along. And he's like, well, Frederick Doyle says, well, I think that he and I would get along. It's just we were role playing, and our characters might not get along. I mean, you know, he's like a prissy a prissy little prissy little elf flitting around, you know, acting all hoity toity and you know, French speaking and shit, and you know. I was I was Kevin the Barbarian, so you know I don't like magic and I don't like elves, and you know, so it would make sense that our characters wouldn't get along, right? He's like, yeah, I guess. Listen, um, I'll give you a call in a week or so. Maybe we can uh, patch things up and pick up where we left. Did, did anything else weird happen on the way out? No. Alan, the guy playing the cleric, he left. And uh, me and Jody were just going out into town to get something to eat. Um, you know, Marcus left. He kind of he left not long after you. He kind of called you a dick, um, but I don't think he really meant. I don't think he really meant it. 
Okay. And that's, I think that's where we're going to stop for the evening. We are on the front porch. We are not on Fraternity Row. We were on the next road over where the backyards of these buildings would butt up against the backyards of Fraternity Row, if that makes sense. Yeah. You're, um, you've made a, a fast friend and I don't know, maybe he's hallucinating. Maybe they did some, some drugs or something, but, uh, you know, weird stuff. Weird stuff it happens. Makes, weird stuff happens. Like he needs to rip up Kevin the Barbarian just in case. He'll do that. He'll pull it out. He'll show you. He'll show you the picture, the character sketch that he drew. It's a guy with um, a young guy, muscular, stripped to the waist, wearing like a buckskin pants, sort of like leather pants, with the big X's down the side for stitching. And he's doing curls with two anvils. An anvil, each two anvils, each on a chain. He's holding a chain in each hand, and he's doing like bicep curls with the two anvils. And he's like, "That's that's Kevin." You see, he's I got his um his 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 um ale horn and his clothes and his stuff, but he didn't he didn't have his axe. Probably a good thing he probably would have cut me in half like a twig. I don't know. Yeah, rip it apart, and then we we cleanse it by using um, Sophia's lighter to to just cleanse the air of all this badness yeah listen um uh kenneth manning says uh if you are going to be writing light and fly fire maybe you should like do it someplace safe there's a fire watch in effect because it's been so dry so you know our porch is kind of old our house is kind of old you know, so if you're going to be like, you know, doing that sort of stuff, maybe do it, do it. Yeah, anyway, we got to run. Hey, man, still, he shakes, uh, Kenneth uh, shakes Frederick's hand. Still, man, I'm sorry things didn't work out. Maybe we could patch it up somehow because, uh, you know, I put a lot of work into this game and I'd kind of like to see it, you know, see it through, at least this particular adventure. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing, Ken. And they leave. They hop into like a like a, a Volkswagen Jetta. It's kind of loud. Pull off into town. What now, guys? You want to want to like find a place to, to to rip this up and burn it? I say you hand us. Let me take the Yeah. The yeah, here. 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 And you need to think about getting a dude group and not making characters that are act like jocks. Well, I know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that um, familiar with the five E rule set. So I thought I'd, uh, you know, do some, I thought I'd do something easy. And the, like the fighter classes are usually pretty easy because you don't got to know spell lists and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. But you know, you you just made a steroid jock with an ax. We know from experience that doesn't bode well. Well, it's just a game, though. It's just a game. I could. I think. I know, but you were acting it out. Remember, you said that he was a prissy little elf. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's taking well yeah. way too far. Well, I was just. I mean, I was just. I, I was just. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I was just kind of. I was trying to describe him from like the perspective of my character. You know. Um, all right. Well, listen, listen, listen. And he takes out a piece of paper and probably on the back of the character sheet, he'll scribble um, his full name. In case you forget, Frederick Doyle. And he tells you what dorm he's in. And he tells you uh, his phone number and his uh, email address, which you could probably ferret out just by putting his last name and first name together. Mm -hmm. And trying like the different variants of at etu.edu, but you've, you've got his contact information, and I think that's a good place yep. to I stop. Home a different way. Well, I'm not going out by the uh, uh, by the Delta Eta Kappa house. I'll tell you that much. That's for sure. No, I never want to go close to a All right. Well, I'd ask for a ride back to campus, but you guys look like you're going into town um, the other way. Yeah. So, so I'll yeah, walk. Yeah. I'll walk and, um, gosh, guys, thanks so much. You, you came around 
Talk about a friend in need. What we do. All right. Listen, maybe I'll see you. Um, maybe I'll see you like at the at the rent fair, or maybe I'll hear from you before that. I hope so. Oh, maybe, maybe. See you, Frederick. Okay, I'll be dressed up. Um, in in an outfit like an old uh, you know, the guy with the with the long wears a leather mask and it's got like a long proboscis, like a bird. A place doctor. Yeah, I'm going to be one of them. Okay, see ya. And Bye. now that he is fully clothed and he can he can probably go back to campus, which is not a long walk. Fraternity Row is kind of right across the highway from it. And by highway I mean two lane road. Um he's probably gonna go looking looking for some like mineral spirits or turpentine to try to remove that paint. And yeah, y'all back in Erica's truck, ambling down ambling down the road. Um and you know what? She doesn't get a speeding ticket. She doesn't get a parking ticket. And the gremlins that inhabit the engine don't make it uh, accelerate inexplicably on the way there or the way back. And we'll, next time we'll okay. next time we'll start off with some rolls about some costumes. To see who see what all you can come up with some costumes. And oh, I found a better one, by the way. It's more <laughs> Renaissance and, and less Rococo. Outstanding. I look forward to seeing yeah, what you all look forward to seeing what you all come up with. <laughs>